Hi guys, so um, today I'm going to teach you how to make realistic baby food. Um, all you're going to need is little um, Tupperwares or some kind of holders like these. These are just little cups. And sorry, I was um, got a engrossed in the show, but I'm going to just fill both of them with white lotion of any kind, or you could use fabric softener. Oh, sorry, I forgot. Um, and you're going to, um, I'm going to teach you how to make bananas and um, green beans or peas, so or spinach or whatever you want it to be. Here's this. You're going to take yellow food coloring, and I put about... To the hospital. Olga is immediately admitted five drops, and, and then just test it with a uh, uh, spoon. Hold on, I gotta find it. Hold on, let me go get a spoon. I'll be right back. All of them. They felt she had no chance of making it, and they were right. About eleven hours later, she died. Clearly, families do not have time to prepare for the sudden kind of unexpected death, whether it be natural or this horrific kind of death. And Sorry I mean, about that, guys. They're in shock. So, uh, what you're going to do is you're going to take your spoon, and you're just going to stir it up. Okay. Now, as you can tell, this is way too liquidy. That would get all over your reborn. So, what you want to add now is some regular baby powder or cornstarch or flour would be just fine. And so far, I put three squirts. I'm going to put five. So, five good squirts of baby powder and stir that up. And your color may dissipate a little bit, so you might want to add more color. I don't really know if you would or not, so it just depends on your personal preference. And for the bananas, you don't want it all chunky like it is. You want it nice and smooth, so you're going to want to stir it until it's smooth. And you can just blow the baby powder out where it's sticking. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm still stirring. Where'd she get burned? So you don't want it clumpy. Okay, now I still need to add more because it's still runny. Okay, now I still need to add more because it's still runny. Okay, now I still need to add more because it's still runny. You want it to be a nice thick material. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That might be enough. So she clearly um, was burned about mm, half a mile away from the house. It's bizarre to think that she then got into the car and drove. You wonder if she was trying to escape from someone. And he ran off and she still had her car. Um, still not enough. A little bit more. I put so far. I put about ten in. So you might want about twelve squirts. Seems like a lot. So you're definitely gonna want to have quite a bit of baby powder on hand. She's been very upset because her fiance didn't have a steady job, and she was very sure, sure, sure. Uh, about their financial situation. Apparently, on the day of her death, the tension between the couple reaches a boiling point. According to the sun, I'm just trying to make sure it's not going to just easily slip everywhere. So, okay, there's your bananas. They're a nice. Here, just let me get the spoon. It's a nice um, yellow color. Immediately, they're suspecting guess who? The fiance. Let me rinse this off so we can see. Even the women are murdered are killed by an intimate partner. It's certainly not uncommon during the wars of Judah. Police 
Now, what we're about to make, you could pretty much make this um, spinach, you could make it beans, you could make it peas. I call them string beans. So, again, just the white um, lotion. And what you're going to do this time is you're going to want some green food coloring. And you're going to put probably about five again. Or uh, I put about seven. Because you want these to be pretty dark. And then one squirt of red to give it a good, or two squirts of red to give it a real good darkness to it. So let's stir that up. Because you want it dark. Like, you don't want it light. Like, that's way too light. It says not even green. So, I need to put a lot more of green in. Okay. Now, let's try it. Oh, yeah. That's much better. Might even want it a little bit darker than that. We'll put four more drops. One, two, three, four. Right now, get 5% cash back on movies. It pays to discover. I like my beans real dark. It almost looks like baby poop. That might be gross, but that's really kind of what it looks like. Alright, you know what? Two more drops, and then that's it. One, two. Okay. I'm not good at estimating drops, so you just kind of do it to your liking, I guess. So, um, that's the coloring. And then, obviously, it's really runny, so you want to add about 12 squirts of this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And then mix it all up. It's hard to choose a foundation. What if your foundation chose you? One of these three is your match. Instantly adjusting to your perfect shade. Now you do want your beans or your spinach or whatever it is a little bit clumpy because they're obviously strained and they're not gushy like bananas are. So they have that texture to them that bananas just don't have. So so this looks really realistic. Um, let me hold it up there. Like, it looks pretty dang real. So, that is how I make baby food. And I'm going to stop this video now because it's pretty long. So, bye guys. I hope you enjoyed that. Any more requests, just request them. Um, I also can make orange juice. So, if you'd like to see that, just leave a request. Bye. Thank you.